Hi, welcome back. I'm Engineer Dimsi Akimti, the author of AutoCAD Made Easy Volumes 1, 2, and 3. I've been your instructor on this AutoCAD mini course. Let's continue from where we start. So, in the last lesson, we have successfully discussed drawing tools and also we have introduced the modifying tools. Modifying tools being tools that we use to modify, to edit, to make adjustment to the already drawn objects. We have uh, spoken about the mirror command, with which you can use to create a, a mirror image of an object at a set distance. As a, we have also used the copy command, which is the tool with which you can make copies, duplicates of an object already drawn. We have also used the move command. With the move tool, you can you can change the position of any object on the drawing. The move tool should not be confused with the pan tool. The move tool is used to move the object on the drawing. You change the position of the object on the drawing. But with the pan tool, you are only adjusting the drawing area. The objects are still in their positions. So, without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. Today, we'll be taking three more modifying tools, which are the offset command, the rotate, trim, and extend. For this lesson, we shall be needing our AutoCAD manual, a pen, paper, something to jot on as usual. So, I have my AutoCAD fully loaded now, and for this lesson, open to the last, the last file that we used. The file we saved as drawing tools, drawing tools. So, on my screen, I have my drawing tools fully loaded. The first tool that I want to use is the offset. 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 What does the offset tool do? The offset tool is used to create parallel lines, concentric circles, and the likes of it. The offset tool creates the offset tool creates the same object as it at a set distance. The offset tool is not copy tool. Let's try some examples and see how it goes. So, first, we'll be creating two parallel lines with the offset tool. My drawing space is already jam packed, so let me use the pan tool to pan to the area of this one. Fine. Now, I want to draw two parallel lines. Line two. Line one. How do I draw the second line? Easily, I can use the offset tool. How do I go for the offset tool? O -F -F. Hmm. Offset. And it tells me to specify a distance. Then. There you go. Let's make two concentric samples. Circle. The first circle is of radius 25, while the second circle is of radius 50, much like the one we drew the last time. So we're using offsets. Now, what will be the distance between this circle and the next circle? That will be 25. You got it. So specify the object distance 25. And side fine. So let's take a zoom at it and measure. So as you can see, 25, 50. Wonderful. Now let's move into the now that we have covered the offset tool, you already know what mirror tool is used for. Let's go into the trim and extend. 
Yesterday, we used a little bit of trim. Today, we shall talk more on trim and extend to line. Great. So, now, this line that I have drawn as my center line, I want to extend it so that it cut across both, it touches the circumference of the biggest circle on the other end. So, how do I go about that? Simply invoke the extend. Extend. Select on. One, two. Isn't that wonderful? That means... One of the circles we, we drew yesterday, let's go right to it, to it and use the extent to, to bring these construction lines to the other part. So, extent. We can as well access the extent to, through the modify toolbar. So, we'll go to extent. If you can't find extent, extent and trim goes and then and so you go for extent. So, select all. One, two, great. One, great, 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 great. Engineering practice while using bisectors to divide a circle, the line should extend beyond, beyond the circle. So for this, I will create another smaller, uh, another bigger circle here. So as to serve as my reference to which my lines will be extended. So for this, I'll be using offsets. Uh, just uh, five. Good job. Great. So extend again. One, two. Isn't that wonderful? And now you know. I don't need this. This was just used for a construction. And now you know. Now with the mirror tool, I can duplicate these lines to this end. So mirror one, two. Good job. Good job. No. I do hope you are getting value out of this. Let's move on. So Another thing we would like to add to this drawing is the text. Let me take you through the text tool. I would like to add numbers to this division. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 12. How do I add text to, the decision, to these divisions? The tool we use to accomplish that is called a text tool. Text tool. There are two types of text tool which is we have the single line text and the multi-line text the single line text is used for writing objects that are on a single line like writing the title of a drawing like labels title block elements and the likes of it while the multi-line tool is used to write longer block of text in a paragraph form in such a manner that the text flow from line to line from left to right so since we'll be using the single line text for this the shortcut for using the single line tool the single line text tool is dt dt good job and it's asking me to satisfy start point let me use here okay text height let's use five your text height will change from time to time depending on how big or how small your drawing is. But for this, 5 is good. 0. Come here. 1, 2, good job. 4, 
we shall talk more about the single line text and double line text in the chapter to come. Hope you still remember how to add the ellipse. Simply you go to the ellipse tool, then the maximum resource file center, center. Okay. No, right there. Good job! And now you know how to label it ellipse. So to label I use the simple line text. Someone asks, instead of using the shortcut, is there no no screen icon I can use to invoke the simple line text? Of course there is. And it's right here. Text. And under it, see simple or modern. I'm using the simple line text. That's one. Good. So um ellipse good job now that we're done with that let's make a little revision and also an assignment for you for this assignment you shall go to page Page 62, trim and extend exercise. You shall copy the figure on that page and apply the trim and extend exercise to make sure the shape turns to a mirrored C. Until next time, have a great day.